name is Natalie Smith and I am a fourth year religion and sociology joint honours student. I'm running for VP Education because I want to ensure that the higher education environment is as inclusive as possible for all students. Uh, I have three main manifesto points that I have put in place to try and achieve this. Uh, the first of which is uh, implementing uh, structural support for survivors of sexual violence. Second, I would like to implement support for international students. And uh, finally, I want to eliminate hidden course costs within modules. Thank you. Hi folks, uh, my name is Matt Eddy, I'm your current VK Education and I'm moving for re-election in this year's uh, Union Elections. So what I want to do this year um, is build on the successes we've had as a union um, in this past year and tackle some of the biggest issues that affect all students across the university. So the lack of study space on campus, um, both in the cultural building and down in the path route as well. Tackling the lack of car parking space availability across the university campus, looking at how the timetable works for students, making it work more efficiently for our clubs, societies and sports teams, looking at how the cost of graduation affects students as well, because we don't think it should be the case that your ability to celebrate um, getting a degree and walking across that stage should be dictated by the size of your bank account. On top of that, we're working towards improving learning and teaching and strengthening the student voice across the university. So what I propose for this is, first of all, some form of rotational system in cultural. Because the fact is that a lot of the seminar rooms stand empty during the day, and that's wasted potential study space. It's going to be very difficult to get the university to physically expand in terms of space. So we need to be, we need to think about how we're using the space that's available to us. Something else that I would suggest is in the upcoming redevelopments of the atrium to make sure that there is a push uh, of awareness to. Study space was in my manifesto this year, and we've made some progress towards it, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, the, the idea we basically had was if we can use um, the existing facilities that we've got, so when it comes to the end of teaching, the seminar rooms, the teaching rooms, the lecture theatres, etc and get faculties to block book these out for their students, then that will allow them to go in and use that space. There was challenges in getting it across the university immediately, but I know that one of our faculty officers, Kelsey from Women's Health and Sport, was working on getting this for her faculty this year. I mean, there's not something that I feel comfortable making an absolute promise of, yes, absolutely, I can get rid of all costs of textbooks. But I know what we did in the religion department was that we had module readers where uh, a large portion of the texts were printed. And so you could buy uh, an entire module's worth of reading for just the cost of the printing paper. So I think it could be interesting to say, look at implementing that in other areas. Next up. So one of the big things that's going through the university at the minute is the review of the ARUA, which is an agreed record of the university adjustment. So for any students with additional support needs, this is a kind of document that outlines the additional requirements that they are entitled to. Um, what we're trying to do with that, and really what the student union has been pushing on this last year, is to go beyond seeing students as having individual differences. Because at the end of the day, what is a standard student? What we really want is to push an inclusion agenda and say, well, if there's things that we can be doing that is going to benefit students with additional support needs that, you know, makes sense to do for everyone, then why aren't we doing it? A good example coming out of this review was, why are we printing um, exam papers on white paper when it would make more sense to print them on um, higher contrast um, paper types? So that's something that going forward we're going to do. One of the biggest things in what we announced today was the decision by the university to make the use of listening again mandatory across this university. At the minute we've got a policy that allows individual students to make their own recordings should they wish, but they've got to go up at the start of the election and approach the member staff and check that's all right. That's singling them out from the rest of the class. Why we can't be just recording the class and uploading it and making it available for all students is really what I want to push. So for the inclusive learning environment, it's working around that review, but also going further to create a fully inclusive learning environment on this campus.
I mean, I could go on the lines of, you know, there's the issues about social integration. You're kind of stuck up in that castle without being part of the whole story community, which I think is an issue. I think there's parts that I'm looking at the partnership academically, um, because, you know, in this show we do kind of approach things from the academic perspective. Um, I think we need to look at the kind of language that is used into, and the couple of times that I've been on a visit to the centre, what is really kind of not sat well with me is the signs that say you must speak English in this centre. Um, I, I think it's important that we value the diversity that we've got in Stirling, and I don't think we get that way by enforcing things on students. Next up. So, when uh, I went to speak to into students, one of the things that they said uh, was a problem for them was uh, the strict monitored attendance, and where if they miss, um, uh, well, if they don't have ninety percent attendance, then uh, they can have their visas revoked, and so that caused issues. For instance, on Fridays when uh, a lot of the Muslim students wanted to observe prayer, but then there wasn't enough time to do that without being marked as absent and then falling within that. So I think doing something about the timetabling there, for instance, would be worth looking into.